Hi everybody, it's Rob Frank. Here's a quick uh, video for the knives that I'm selling. I'm known as Wotenson on Blade Farms, Wotenson 1. The first knife is a Strider SNG. S30V Steel, Ranger Green G10 handles. Just back from a sharpening and spa treatment at the Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. Rob Bixby. Sharpener extraordinaire. I had him reserve, uh, reverse the bull pivot sides because I thought aesthetically it looked better. This way you can change it back very easily when you buy my knife. Flame titanium side, about 60, I don't know, 50, 60% lockup. No blade play whatsoever in any direction. This is the centering. Favors to the right. No big deal though. Ship to your house, 220 US dollars. Firm. Second knife. Knife number two. Spyderco Zulu. Jens Anso Design. S30V Steel. Black G10 handle. Made in Taiwan. Liner lock. Locks up perfectly. Blade centering is pretty darn perfect. This will get you $75 to your door. That includes shipping and PayPal. All of the knives prices I'm giving you including include shipping and PayPal. Knife number three. Spyderco Endura, baby blue handles, full flat ground, ZD10, Z, I'm sorry, VG10 steel, no play in any direction, centering is good, if not excellent, pretty much right down the middle. Maybe a little bit to the left. This will cost uh, $45 to get it sent straight to your door. Including all fees and shipping. Fourth knife. Knife number four. The original. Spyderco UK pen knife. Or UKPK. S30 steel. Black GT handle. Has been carried. Has been used. Has been sharpened. Spring is stiff. Would make a good little user for your collection. $75 shipped to your door. Priority mail. Knife number five. Kershaw Speed Bump. Black aluminum handles. Fudlock, uh, uh, studlock. 13C26 steel. Centering is favors to the left. Not rubbing. It's a nice knife. A little bit of rub marks on the clip. Anodizing on the scales is pretty close to being perfect. This will run you $50 delivered to your house. This is knife number five. Knife number six. It's the Kershaw Zing. Everyone's seen these before, but not a lot of you have seen this in a black coated Tonto blade. This was a limited edition. Liner lock. Blade centering is... I don't know if you're going to even be able to see this. Blade centering is good. Favors a little bit to the right, but not in any way rubbing. This will run you... $35 to your door. 
This is the Kershaw Zing 1735. And our final knife tonight, knife number seven, is an oldie but a goodie, guys. All you guys that have been around for a while know exactly what this is. This is the Kershaw Ricochet. Now, this knife was never right when I got it. it the lockup was just not able to be trusted. And I tried a little emery board on the titanium liner for the liner lock, and that didn't seem to work. And then I took it apart and gave it a good cleaning, and I thought maybe that would work, and that really didn't work. And uh, But I'll tell you, this is in immaculate condition. And uh, this was a very expensive knife at one time. And if you're even remotely handy, unlike myself... I think that you could turn this into something really special. I really do. Or if you know somebody that likes to take apart knives and put them back together and fix them. I think you, this, you could make this work. This is a very expensive knife. I think I'm about $170 deep into this knife when I got it six or seven years ago. But unfortunately, it's got to go. Because I can't fix the problem. And I am not good at fixing problems. So... Uh, I will, uh, it's got a, a CPM 440 V steel. The, uh, the, the speed safe still works very well. The centering is all the way over to the right. It really is. It's not rubbing on the liners. There's no rub marks on the blade, but it is. When I took it apart, I should have never taken it apart. But I'm sure if you even have remotely any skill whatsoever taking care of knives or refurbishing knives, you should have no problem with this. And I'm going to send this to your house for $70. That includes priority shipping and PayPal fees. So the deal is, you know what's legal in your area? I don't. You're responsible for that. You're 18. You're saying, telling me you're 18 when you bid on my knives. My knives are shipped out priority. With insurance. If you want to increase the basic amount of insurance, then you're going to have to let me know. And uh, you're going to have to give me an extra dollar. But uh, I've been in this uh, hobby for going on now 15 years. It's time for these to go because I just, as though I love them very much, I just never carry them. So, the Kershaw comes as is. If you think you're going to slip it into your pocket, if you're going to stick this ricochet in your pocket and just carry it around town, it ain't going to happen. Okay? So that is the caveat with this ricochet. You're going to need to do some work. Okay? Or you're going to have to know somebody that knows how to do work on knives. But, uh... If you're handy, I think you could probably end up figuring this out. So, all right, everybody. Uh, first, I'll take it, get some. Have a great day. Thanks for looking at my knives, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.